Okay, we're moving right along with our third uh, segment for the day. And one of the things we're talking about is what the expectation is when you're buying a puppy or you're buying a uh, dog of age. And what, what should the expectation be and how does the expectations, what you're getting in the dog, drive costs? What's the difference between the $500 dog and the dog that is uh, $2,500. Uh, and this is the third thing we're talking about. So we've already talked about genetic help, uh, scientific testing, making sure that that is documentation on the scientific testing. And we talked about show quality in terms of uh, how close is the dog to the international breed standard, or how far is it away from the international breed standard. And then the third thing we're going to talk about. Uh, this morning is the working ability of the dog or the willingness to work. Now, there are different dogs <coughs> that fall in different categories. You have uh, the toy breeds such as uh, the Shizu and the uh, 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 Yorkie, and uh, there are other dogs that are, fall within the what we call the toy breed category. You have the sporting breed, like the uh, pointer, uh, like the uh, retriever uh, that falls in the category of the sporting breeds. Uh, most of these dogs are known for hunting fowl or small, um, uh, small uh, rodents or critters. But we're talking about the Rockwell breed as a base because once again, that is the dog that I specialize in. There are many, many, uh, many breeds uh, that I have some knowledge of, but I have the most knowledge uh, in terms of dogs in the Rockwell breed because I've been dealing with that breed for over 10 years. So I always use that as a base when we're talking about uh, quality of dogs and what the expectations are. And the Rockwell, of course, is a working breed. This dog was used in ancient Roman times uh, as a war dog, fought in wars, uh, was known as a war dog. It's one of the reasons why uh, they bred the white patch that comes from the Bernese Mountain Dog. They bred that patch out of the Rockweller. Sometimes it will pop up. You'll see it pop up uh, periodically. But for the most part, it was bred out of the dog because of the war. Okay, for war reasons. Then we also know that the Rockweller was used to drive cattle. So uh, <coughs> when you didn't have a refrigerator to kill your food and, and store it, uh, the cattle had to be driven uh, from place to place. And the, the dog that was used to do that was also the Rockweller, rock which is a working breed. Uh, and then when the dog was uh, retired, from war and was retired in Rockwell, Germany. Uh, the dog kind of sat around there and they began, the butchers began to use the Rockweller as a uh, pull cart dog, a dog that you can hook up to a cart and pull. And this was the reason for the tail being docked, okay? So the tail was docked for uh, so many years, I think 24 years ago, 25 years ago, uh, Germany decided to change that to keep the tail intact on the Rockweller because it was no longer pulling uh, butcher's cart. So this is where the dog get his name from. Uh, the Rockwell butcher's dog come from pulling the cart of the butcher who had meat in the cart. And uh, in 1910, after much testing of the Rockweller, the Rockweller was chosen uh, or was certified to be one of the dogs that can be used in police service back in 1910. It's over, uh, rather about 113 years ago. Um, so one of the things that we do uh, here is we always, we're always looking at how the dogs interact with each other and how the dogs interact with its, its environment. So we may use a flirt pole, we may use a ball. Uh, Sometimes we use uh, cups, cans, anything, make it loud noise. When we're doing our temperament testing, we're also checking for the working ability of the dog, okay? We want to look at the drive of the dog. 
What does the food drive look like? Okay. What does the tour drive look like when you put a tour in there? What are they doing with that tour? Uh, the ball. And then, of course, when you look at the uh, look at the parents, we're also looking at sex drive, which is very important. And it ties into the working ability. If you have a dog that has a high sex drive, it's going to go in there and get it. It's going to use its mental faculties to tell when the male or when the female is ready. Then that's also going to tie into your working ability. Okay, the Rockweller is an alert dog, calm, confident, and courageous. Those three elements in one dog is very important. Some other things we could talk about, uh, such as we talk about uh, the Rockweller is a medium to large size stalwart breed, possessing uh, great strength, agility, and endurance. All three of those elements, if you study them, it's very difficult to get all three of those elements and one dog, but that speaks to the superiority of the working ability of the Rockwell, okay? The working ability of the, when we talk about working ability, many dogs, once again, that do have uh, working ability, working ability need to be checked if it's a working breed. And the Rockweller is one of the superior working dogs simply because it possesses the strength, it possesses the agility, and it possesses the endurance. You have other working breeds that may have the strength and may have um, uh, the, they may have the strength and they may have uh, the endurance, but they might not have the agility. They may have two of them and they might not have a third. The Rockweller brings all three to the table. Very excellent dog. Okay, he reacts to his surroundings with great alertness. This is directly from the International Breed Standard. ADRK, FCI. We're talking about uh, a working breed. That dog is going to be alert to what's going on in its environment. It's not a puppy that's sitting there and you're throwing a ball or you're throwing a can or you got a fruit pole in his face and it's just laying there. Or uh, <clears throat> one of the things that the judges like to see in the show, and this is the reason why a lot of people may not get that first or second place that they want because they present a very nice dog in terms of how the dog, uh, uh, physical confirmation of the dog. Physically, the dog meets the standard, okay? But when it comes down to the working ability, the dog may be lacking. You have dogs uh, in the ring, and they're there, and they just, they're looking at the float pole or the ball. Well, the judge want to see a little movement. He want to see a willingness to work, a willingness to try to get the ball, a willingness to try to get uh, the float pole or, or whatever it is. He want to see some movement. He want to see some action. He want to see some eagerness to work, okay? So you might have a nice dog and he's just standing there and he's kind of, you know, looking, okay, you put the ball over there or the flat and you, you turn it over there. That's nice. But that's not showing an eagerness to work. An eagerness to work is whatever it is in front of me that I'm interested in, I'm moving toward it. I'm trying to get it. I'm not just sitting there watching it. Okay? So that's one of the things we're talking about working ability. We're looking to see is, does that dog have the, uh, uh, the ability to work? Not necessarily that you're going to use the dog as a working dog, but as the Rockwell breed, it should have that. If you're looking at other dog or other dog breeds, particularly, uh, you know, they say that the pit bull is supposed to be a high animal prey drive dog, but well, you got to have some type of test or some type of uh, uh, mechanism to be able to show that that dog has in it what it was bred to do. Okay. You're saying it's a high prey dog and I come around, I want to be able to see that. Don't just tell me, show me. If I'm paying uh, $2,500 versus $500, okay, I want you to show me a little bit more than what the person who's selling their dog for $500 can show me. I'm not expecting a lot out of the $500 dog. I'm not expecting a lot out of the $1,000 dog. But when you're talking about getting up there $2,000, $3,000, $4,000, you got to show me that this dog at least has a willingness to work. 
that this dog is eager to take care of the business that it was designed to take care of.